This video is a quick introduction into Scapy. Scapy is a Python tool that is a packet manipulation tool that can basically, it can uh, read packets off the wire, can sniff traffic off the wire, just like Wireshark, but it can also craft packets. It can make packets and send packets too. So it's just this all around tool that interfaces with your cap, uh, packet capture libraries on your computer. And it's really cool. So let's check it out. So we're gonna install Scapy and we're gonna use it. The website for Scapy where the documentation is located is at scapy.net and it has an interactive tutorial for learning Scapy. And I, I learned a ton just by walking through that. So, but for this lab, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm using Linux Mint here in a VirtualBox VM and we're gonna install Scapy to start with. So the first thing you'll wanna do is run a sudo app-get update to update your repository of software. Um, See, so I'm running the sudo app-get update. And then after that, you're going to need pip to install Scapy. So if you have uh, pip, great. If you don't have pip, then the command is sudo app-get install python3 pip. So you'll want to run this command. And if I run it, you can see I've already got it. Now, for installing Scapy, the command that I used, which I like a lot, is, let's see here, it's this one. sudo python3-m pip install, and then double dash pre Scapy, and then complete in between brackets. And if you install it this way, it will install the complete software packages that come with Scapy. It'll basically install additional libraries as well. And I'll just run it here, but I've already got it installed. So it's already, it says here requirements are already satisfied. So once again, sudo python, sudo python 3-m pip install pre double dash pre Scapy and then in between brackets complete. That's what I recommend. Okay, now that I've got it installed, I'll put in a clear command here to clear my shell. Let's let's run Scapy. So I can use Scapy in Python programs by importing um, the module and importing basically the libraries into Python scripts, or you can use the Scapy comes with its own interactive shell that you can use also. So for that, since I'm gonna be capturing packets, I'm gonna run it with a super user do sudo and then just Scapy. And that should open up the interactive shell and allows me to type, start typing commands, start um, sending packets, sniffing packets, or making packets, crafting my own packets, and manipulating them. So the first thing we could do is, is we can just sniff some traffic. So just like Wireshark, like a packet sniffer, I can sniff traffic. I'm going to sniff and then count equals four. I'll sniff four packets. And I'll hit enter. And then in my web browser here, I'll just refresh this web page, generate some traffic, and you can see that it sniffed uh, TCP three packets or three frames that were TCP and one UDP frame. And then if I wanna look at those frames to see like a, a summary of what they are, well, I can see a summary by saying A equals underscore, and then A dot summary, open and close parentheses, and it gives me a summary. So you can see here that there was an HTTP request, an HTTP request. Notice this UDP DNS query for the domain name, which is my name. And then, um, and then you see here another, basically another query. So those are, that's a summary of the four packets that were sent. And it's kind of a, a layered architecture here. So you've got an ethernet frame, and then on top of the ethernet frame is the IP packet. On top of that is the TCP segment. And so it looks just like that. Now you could also do this whole thing in kind of a one-liner. And to do it as a one-liner, what you would do is you would say sniff, and then in between the parentheses, I'll put count equals four. And then I can add other things like PRN, I'll put in a lambda function, PRN equals lambda x colon and then 
x dot summary and that should just execute basically those three lines just in one line so it'll sniff four packets then it'll run an anonymous function here a lambda function and then it will basically give me the summary so let's see here if i do that and i refresh this again to generate some traffic and you can basically see it did the same thing it just when i refresh this web page it generated some traffic and it sniffed that traffic and then showed me what it was so there you have it so there's that also what you could do is is going back to this this sniff method that we can use or the sniff function we could actually make it just a live continuous capture if we get rid of the count equals four and what we could do is we could also specify the interface so i'll put i face equals enp 0 s 3 which is my you know i don't have eth 0 on this linux mint virtual machine the interface is enp 0 s 3 comma so there you have that and instead of giving a summary well let's do it with a summary that might be good so it'll be a continuous capture though so it should just show kind of like continuous traffic let's see here because i didn't put a count so you can see that there's a bunch of packets and if i open up another web page you can just see the traffic being generated here okay cool so it's just continuous you can just see the continuous traffic here and a summary of each packet so what i'll do is i'll just exit this with Control c so that's pretty interesting and then the other thing that you could do is instead of using just the summary function you can use a show function so i'm going to do one more one-liner here and i'll say sniff except this time we're going to go back to the count equals one so we'll get just one packet and instead of using um maybe i will put the interface i'll keep the interface in there interface equals p0s3 although it works without it so i don't know why i'm doing that all right and this time instead of using the um, summary method let's use the uh, sh the show function or the show method so there we go so this time i'm going to sniff one packet off of my interface and then i'm going to execute this function which will run the show function here so we'll hit enter and i need a packet okay there's the packet once again, I have to generate some traffic, and there it is. So you can see here, here is the packet, but it's showing the details. So there's the details. So we can see kind of, we can look into the packet and see the details. So first of all, you have the network access layer, the basically uh, the ethernet frame with the destination and source MAC addresses. At the upper layer, we're going to have an IPv4 packet. Here's the IP packet information with all the flags that would be in the header, or all the fields, rather, that are in the header, and the source and destination IP address. You can see here's my computer, and here's the IP address that it was communicating to on the internet. And then you've got at the transport layer, the TCP. It was a TCP uh, packet or TCP segment. So you've got the source port and the destination port. Notice the destination port shows HTTP, which means it was a web request that it captured. And, and that's it. So, uh, and you've got here the, the flags. You can see here the flag was an S, so it was a, a SIN. And then you have the option. So this is kind of, looks like this is a SIN, and it was basically going to start maybe a three-way handshake or something like that. You can see all the options here. So this was the beginning of a communication. Um, and you can see it was one TCP packet. So that is just how to um, sniff traffic using uh, Scapy's interactive shell. In the next video, we're going to um, read, we're going to read PCAPs. So not only can we send or sniff traffic, we can also open packet capture files that we may already have, and we can also create our own packets. And I'll, I'll show, I'll demonstrate how to do that in the next video.